Hi everybody, welcome to Big Eye Golf. We're in the shade, mate. Oh, we are. It's a, it's a lovely, warm morning. Going to get hot here today in Cornwall. Um, I'm just down the road from where I live. Oh, well, 15 miles from where I live. Uh, I am with John Griffiths, new buccaneer, par free short course specialist buccaneer. You that doesn't that. mean he's any good like me. He's just, but that's he, say, he plays those that. kind of courses first, a lot. If, right? if they've seen the first four, <laughs> they've they seen might the first their video. Minds. <laughs> he didn't do very well. Actually, he, I, I will say in his defence, go and watch the other video because you play better than me. But the nature of the, the course and the balls that you were trying out, because you're trying different balls today, yeah. is you landed them on the green for a shot and they just ricocheted off. They just bounced off. Yeah. So J John's trying something out. So John is, uh, it's down again. Oh, that's heavy camera. Uh, John is a member of Radner, which you've seen on the, the channel quite a lot. He plays a uh, par three course as a member. So we're going to use John on quite a few different par three courses and short game areas and pitch and putts because it's fun. Yeah, because this is grassroots golf and we're having a laugh. It's the best way you can get into golf, bring your families, relax about the code a little bit with dress code sometimes, uh, but learn the game properly. Try out all the little short game things. I've been trying out wedges, which I don't normally do. Just have fun and it's cheap as chips. So we are at, oh, I don't remember if I said, Penwith Pitch and Putt. Penwith Pitch and Putt is uh, just near Hale, just down the road from Hale Golf, where I use a lot, um, not very far from West Cornwall Golf Club, which I'll have to remember. Uh, it's, it's near Hale and uh, between here and St Ives. Hale, five miles of golden sand. Five miles yeah. of golden sand. Lovely touristy place, again, which is why we're here. Pitch and Putt is a tourist place. So, we're here early, we're here before the, the crowds come in, they're going to be that due in juice. I can't even say it now, they are in soon. They'll be That's due here one. soon. Uh, they open at 10, we've been here about 9 to start. So we're going to crack on with the course. Three videos, uh, first video's just gone out, four holes, next four holes. John, you can start mate. Yeah, so, um, this time I'm first ready. First of all you said that you were trying out different balls again, so you swapped a ball from the Thrixton last time, and what are you on now? I'm now, I've now got the Vice Pro. Okay, because you're again, this is one thing, you know, as we'll say, proper golfers, whatever that's supposed to be, um, you can use these kind of courses for relaxed experimentation. Yep. Not a competition, you're not yep. you're playing all your mates, you're just here to have fun. Supposedly, uh, they, they say always be con constant with your ball. Yeah, so you are trying that, but you are experimenting with so, different balls every four holes for now just to get yeah, used to which one. Yeah, give them a try. You got four holes. You can see how they go. Do they check up? Unlike the ones I was using, not so much on the check up. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what these, what, how these go. Okay. So what John's about to hit? We are on the fifth hole. Uh, it's 105 yards, kind of. Unless you duff it. Well. <laughs> Actually, it's about time you had a duff because you've hit some really good shots well, onto exactly. green to bounce got, it off. I've got to have a duff, haven't I? Yeah, in, in my defence, I'm actually, so if there was a competition, I'm winning. Um, but it's mainly because I kind of, not duff, but scuffed the first shot quite short and then just bobbled them onto the green. But that's, that's the way I play. Yeah. So yeah, we've also, as you said, the distances are... They're Cornish. Uh, yeah, they're Cornish. They could be what they're, they're ish. Be. All right. So this is supposed to be 105, but hey, yeah, can be a bit hit and miss, like like our game, mate. Yeah, like 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 my game's being. But there we go. I really must put some like put some proper colours on these because I can't see it down there. Yeah. Thing. Right. So I go pitch a wedge. Yeah, you can get all those fancy colours now. You see, yeah. they got those uh, those pens that you can use. Yeah, I've got, I've got to definitely get some because these are, my Mizunos are great, but they started off with white and they're kind of wearing away, and I'm having yeah. trouble seeing them. It's, beca it's become grey. <laughs> Again, the tee boxes are a little bit, um, well, rough yeah. and ready. They're well used because this course is massively popular Very in the summer. Popular. Many Very tourists, popular. other golfers as well. Yeah. Um, they're doing their best, they really are. Yeah, even in the winter, you come up here on a Saturday morning in the winter, there's half a dozen people trolling around. Lovely. Yeah, so, but again, not the distance. But you said you couldn't, you said you, you couldn't get the I'm, height off your wedges. That was a lovely little white. Yeah, lovely it's, it's height. just learning that distance. And this is quite a good place to come for that because you can go on a range and hit a ball, but it's not the same. Not you need to be on grass yeah. and you need to just work out those distances. Yeah. So, and range mats are totally different from hitting the ground. They're very forgiving, I find, range mats. They are. Well, they, they, you can bounce it a bit and you can still get still away. Still okay. And um, sometimes I wonder if that's 
part of the issue with like you said you go on the range you start hitting it really nicely you walk yep. onto the course oh i'm in the wrong environment this is going wrong it's going wrong what's happening practicing here you're hitting off grass you've yeah. got a fair way you've yeah, got the green to the ground is very hard here we yeah. were saying that the greens and everything the fairways are lush if there is such a thing as a fair one a par three um but the ground is like rock there have been very little rain for here there's rain last night but it's nothing it's just gone okay so this is quite a tricky course we're going to just film this one and we'll show you some more of the holes right so we're just saying we played the first four holes and look behind us the course is probably only just about opening and yet there are already people catching up with us it's the nature of the pitch and putt course and how busy it's going to be oh john what are you doing mate what am i doing it's not the most auspicious start to a to it's a buccaneer not, on the channel no hole number maybe five. maybe we ought to put your favorite hole on because that was brilliant when you filmed <laughs> yeah. that but that comes that goes out that might come out before this you could be all right <laughs> i'm putting it down to the pressure now uh, he's so much better than this honestly he is. It, it'll get better right it is that build up of pressure because suddenly it's like well i've done very well i'm not going to be better yeah, exactly. i've done very well yeah, oh, I've, oh, got I've got seriously got to get better soon yeah i've got i've got to, i've got to get this one just relax mate that's it it's not a problem it's funny it's it's you stop filming for a bit and then you start again and you've got to start all over again more like it bit more like it on the boat a bit of a kick to the right would be nice a bit left but that's all right that's okay that'll do that's a punch in there obviously we we're going to move a bit quicker because it, you know people are starting to catch us up it's amazing even yeah. on this course they're trying that's to catch it. us up and there's always that little bit of pressure when people are following you I'm using proper wedges because I need to learn. That's very good. You got it. Well, I think that'll do. And you can't get better than that. That's not bad. Right on the fringe. Thank you. So I'm just on the edge of the green. John's just on the edge of the green. On the other side. Greens are very tricky here. Undulations. I don't mean they're bad, they're just there are proper undulations, proper greens. Saucers, mostly saucers as well. That's a that's a great chip. Stop. That's a great chip, mate. That's better. Put it away or uh, you can, yeah you can take that away mate. I'm on your line. Ah, it's fine. We're not doing gimmies because we're playing proper golf. Well done. Yeah. Your suspicious start is hopefully gone. <laughs> <laughs> much better, much steadier. <sighs> There. That was lovely. But again, that saucer is just there, so it's yeah. going to go. Yeah. Well, I'm just going down a hill. <laughs> yeah, careful, mind the slope. Is that what they mean by slope rating on courses? Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, I've Games got a plan. <laughs> I don't know what happened on that, or I don't know. Right, we'll go to the next side. <laughs> right. Okay, so after that little bit of gamesmanship, oh, he's nasty, he's nasty. Uh, that was even. So I'm still a three up, John, but you won't want to say anything. No, no, no. Okay. well, obviously that, that had nothing to do with my amusing little comment. <laughs> uh, we're, we're just very relaxed, it's just all a bit of a laugh today. And, but it's also important for us to show that pitch and putt is a good place to go and learn golf and just to experience the game of golf. Why not? Let's give it a try. It's cheap as chips, bit of fun, but it's also proper, proper golf. So this is the sick hole, there's my skirt around here, approximately 105, it's kind of going back parallel to where we've just been. Yeah. I'd say water on the right. All water on this on all right. on this hedge line is water around the back, isn't it? Proper, proper rough on the left. Yep. Again, very heavily domed green this yeah. one, so okay. wait for this to go over the back. Wait for it to fly over the back. <laughs> 
Now I shall uh, endeavour to be the front side this time. I say endeavour. You know, you're a bit that really well. You're going to move away where I'm going to the same place. Oh, that's so. on the green and. On the fringe. Excellent. I think that's okay? I'll take that one. Well, you could. Well done. That used to be your catchphrase. You're not using that so much these days. What's that? In your early videos. I'll take that. I'll take that. Well, yeah. You said that. You used to say that a lot. <laughs> I never knew I had a catchphrase. Oh, I, I don't think it was intentional. No, I've got, there's a few aren't intentional, I felt, felt like my game. That's a bit to the right, stay there. Bit to the right, but you're alright, you're rolling down. I know, yeah. right behind you is a massive deep yeah. bit of Hang stream. On. Let's uh, see how goes, my camera work does on this one. It goes, oh, it goes it's all in, the way around the course. It all courses all over the place. So yeah, it's a little tricky. bit. It's a little bit in shade, but you might be able to get it. Oh, it, it's it's big enough to lose your ball, mate. Oh yeah, there you go. And that's the kind of water we're having to deal with all around this course in different places. Yeah, that's that's the gully. So, I diced with the rough and diced with the water. Yeah, more water. More water. In yeah, fact, in, in fact, almost swamp like. Oh, he's hey, I'm, the I'm, camera. I'm over here, John. John, I'm over here. Right. <laughs> uh, so we are, you know, it's a serious course. Might be pitching putt. Don't treat it lightly. Uh, John is on the green. Well done. If you can see it, don't know. Ch change of ball. Well done. It held this time. No one's bounced off like yeah. a rocket. Yeah. There you go. Must be something in it. Okay. I have no short game, John. No, no. <laughs> I have no short game, John. <laughs> oh my word, right. I think you've been having sneaky lessons. Oh. Telling everyone. Maybe just, maybe because it's just relaxed golfing and no it's pressure. you're relaxed. It Genuinely, matter. I think, yeah. relaxed, having a bit of fun. And it kind of works, doesn't pressure it? Pressure goes. Yeah. It's fun. Golf is fun. <laughs> it can be. So, let John line up, let's say we're doing this properly. Uh, it, depending on what happens on the videos, I played yesterday at Dainton Park. It's a lovely course, proper course in Devon, and I played awful. Today, all back to go, going well again. That's very nice. Oh, Just held up. Enough. Greens are still pretty wet. This is very early in the morning, like we and said. There's, there's actually, I mean, that is quite a slope. Another slope, yeah. That there is quite he, a slope. Yeah. So. Is it Dave? Dave the owner? Yes. Yeah, he, yes. he does like a saucer, doesn't he, eh? Yeah, he's definitely, he's taken his, um, he's taken his inspiration from his upturned teacups in his cafe. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Blew the, blew the par. I, I'm shaking my head in disbelief right now. Exactly. I said, we, we would be doing gimmies, we're doing it, but we're doing it properly, we're just doing trying to do the no putting, gimmies. we're just trying to do everything, showing that this is proper real golf. Yeah, no gimmies on a pitch and putt. Yeah. <sighs> there you go. You have a steady free, John. Yeah. You, I should be marking the card. You should be with Again, this. Another thing, we haven't marked the cards, but sometimes you know threes are brilliant on a pitch and putt. Yeah. Threes are just damn good. Fours are good. Yeah. You know, it just happens, doesn't it? Yeah. Golf is real. Golf is real. Exactly. Okay, so this is the biggest according to John. This is the longest hole in the course, 120 yards. We'll call 120 yards ish, because again, <laughs> yeah, we're keeping the issue. They're a little bit random. Uh, <laughs> hole seven, but again a tricky hole. We'll just go around his side, so. John can explain it. Yep. Well, it's um, again. You have your water hazard, the gully. Yeah, because we're kind of parallel there, for the last one. The we right. just walked over this little gap here. So big water on the right. And water on the back. Very close to the green, if I remember rightly. Yeah, there it is. It's right on there. So you're you're hemmed into that little corner, and then yep. you've got this lovely little stand of trees in the middle, which are really good at catching your ball. Just you as literally you think want you've one of my duff shot shots, that my low shots that yeah, go on the ground. You don't exactly. want anything else, honestly. Yeah. 
You want to get your five iron out, back yeah. to your stance and just run it all just the way Just run it all the way, might do that, yeah. yeah, we'll see. So, with that in mind, I'm taking a 52. Yeah, because that's, because <laughs> that's, you know, that's what we're taught to do, high dropping ball, so. Well, I did contemplate, did contemplate the nine iron and a bit of a, bit of a scut low, but I thought. Yeah, a bit of a chip and run. Yeah, I thought, no, well, 120 yard chip and run's probably a bit much. Okay, for you, maybe. Yeah, me? Oh, I do it all the time, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Natural door of my game. That's a lovely shot. Oh, he gets some great height on his shots. I was just a bit short, yeah, but actually, that's better short, there. But yeah. That's much safer to be there than there the other go. side. The other side, you'll be in the water. Oh look, one of my scuttler 120 yards left. Yeah, but that's oh, perfect. There. That's stop there. Please stop there. 120 yards exactly. So there you go. I thought you could do it. Pin high. <laughs> uh, natural Edge links player, mate. Natural links go, player. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a West Cornwall shot if <laughs> ever I saw. He's shaking one. his head in disbelief. It's what I do. I'm on fire today, my own way. Honestly, I am. Right. Okay, so John's got a little short, little chip. Little short chip and run. I'm pin eye, mate, with a nine iron. Well, I've got my nine iron now. <laughs> Bit late, mate. I'm about 100 yards back. Yeah, all right. Yeah, but I've, I've got to try and get it in the gully now, just so I'm <laughs> consistent and true to form. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to have to teach you the nine iron dab, aren't I? Yeah, you're going to have to teach me that one. No, that's fine. Nah, I duffed that as it went through, but never mind. He's just under massive pressure because I, for some reason, I'm, whether everything I'm touching has turned to gold so far in these exactly. two videos, this is, this is, I don't know, uh, but it's just happening. This, this is the new Oggy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know how long it'll last. It might last for the pen with pitch and putt. We'll see. Yeah, exactly. Maybe this is my level, yeah. and I don't care about that. This is fine. Exactly. Yeah. Nothing wrong with playing to your level. No, I agree. Right. Well, I'll go link style then and use me putter from here. Yeah, but the, the well, yeah, the grass is a bit thick. It is a bit thick. I will warn you. I might I might change my mind. <laughs> it is allowed. Not that I want to you know, change your mind and force the issue, but no. I'd be unsure about using yeah. the one on this one. Take your time, just relax mate, you're doing fine. Too much. A bit too much? That saucer again, off it goes. Yeah. Never mind. Where's the best, where's the best view for this? Let's get, let's get in and around. Oh, mind you, sun's up there, That's isn't right. it? I'll be a silhouette, a big silhouette. Be a there silhouette. you go. Well, uh, if I move there a bit, you'll be fine. Again. There you go. Stop right. moving the camera, John. Uh, so, we were just discussing off camera. Uh, people are going to maybe <laughs> not complain, but they're going to make comments about the fact that why is John a 23 handicap? We're seeing why John's a 23 handicap because his short game is not that good. Your medium game is good. 150 yards, that's 160 yards, 200 yards. But for something like today, it's a lot of dust and there's the things. But this is why you're here to practice that sort of thing. Just because we're calling a, a par free specialist buccaneer on a channel, by the way, it's not because he's good at it. Yeah, it's just he not tends to play par free courses. <laughs> yeah. so you have the knowledge of the par free courses. <laughs> Serious, please. There you go, you see. It means something now, so you really, uh, this is pulling you through. <laughs> I'm on target. Shall I finish off? Yeah, put it away. Oh yes it did. I think that was a thing of a tremor when I put the foot there. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we move to the next hole? Yeah. We're just, we're just speeding up a little we'll because, because the bit. tourists are starting to come in and locals yeah. are coming in. Yeah, they're in behind. Place is filling up. Okay, <laughs> so this is the final hole on this video. Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, six, yeah, five, six, seven, eight. Number eight, so we're playing these videos four at a time. We're under a nice big tree for shelter, so John's in the dark. It's nice and He's cool. He's been though. a bit in the dark on some of his game today. Sorry, yeah, John. exactly. Yeah. Uh, this is the shortest hole, you reckon? Yeah, 61 yards, it but this is shorter 61, than that. 61, but that's shorter. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think that's definitely. Uh... But a tricky hole again. 
again. Big mound on the left, which you really don't want to be anywhere near. You shouldn't be, but hey, no. you know. That green is so close to that back tree, and I don't know what to think on those hedges. Right, behind that back tree is a really big green algae pond. <laughs> Fine. If you put your ball in there, yeah, I'm short, John. All the little, all the little ball collector things, you won't need it because you won't find it. But there we go. Hit the ball short, mate. That's all I can do on this one. Yeah. I've got a putter out. I'm reckon. Yeah, I'm gonna. Am say, I might actually. This, this might be perfect for your nine iron. Yeah, the nine iron. I don't call it a duff. The nine iron low shot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's not. There's no such thing as a duff shot. There's a low under the wind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's about the best place you could be. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely do not want to go long on that. No, no. Laying up on a pitch and putt. I know, but, but look at the trees as well. The trees are right over the ground. Yeah, cone. yeah. I have no idea. I'm just pulled out a 60 degree wedge. <laughs> yeah, I think you'll be all right with that. Full shot what with I do with a 60 degree wedge. I thin them. Full shot with a 60. Yeah, don't, don't, don't thin it. will be in the back, mate. Full shot with a 60 degree should be perfect. Right. No, that's all right. You got the bat. You got the bounce off the mound. You We're see. We're laying up on the par three. Exactly. What you have to do here. Yeah. I wonder if anyone's actually seriously done a full course vlog on a par three pitch and putt. Probably not. Probably not. We are. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Hole number eight. This is what you get on big Augie. Um, this is what you get on big Augie. Yeah. You get to get the big courses, the little courses. You get the good shots. You get the bad shots. Oh yeah, definitely get the bad shots. Yeah, there's a song in there somewhere, you get the cider drinking, you get the fun, all that. You know, a bit tub thumping or something like that. <laughs> might be filling them in and seeding them up. I'm so yeah, we were just sure. discussing, um, there are some bunkers on these, these may have been built, filled up, so basically they're now just sand traps. Yeah. So there's one there, and there's one there, so there's, you know, there's still, a, still a hazard of some it's kind. Still definitely a hazard of overall. Massive overlying the trees, overhanging the trees. Okay, so we're just gonna right. dab this around. So I'm here we go. You're up first. I am. Yep. So day like this, I should have brought the hybrid just for the hybrid putt. This is the perfect place for the hybrid putt. I thought not that kind of distance won't need it, but. Oh. Oh. oh, 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 that's a 60 degree spin. Yeah. Oh. oh. That might be gone for good, mate. Yeah. It's what it is. I have to go wrong at some point. Okay, so your problem so far, I think, with the nine iron dink that I'm trying to teach you is you're not in them quite hard enough. No. You've been a bit too gentle. Exactly. I've There's been, a lot of rubbish to go through. Been a bit soft, so. A bit smooth. I can't teach um, him anything, it's just what he does. Smooth. Better, better, oh, That's better, that'll stop, hold. Stop, stop. That'll hold. That'll you can have a little little putt for that for practice, but this is your role, mate. Well done. That'll do. That's lovely. So, John's going to just putt out because he's won the hole. Uh, that'll make, uh, make me three up with four to play. Not that we're counting. Oh, see, now he's coming on form. Now he's coming on form. The comeback kid is on his way. Yeah. So it used to be about the back line. Now it's yeah. all about the back four. It'll be good. So stay in shot a second, John. Uh, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Right. Thank you very much, everyone, uh, for watching. This is the second of our three videos of the course vlog of Penworth Pitch and Putt. Thank you very much to John Griffiths, 23 handicapper, a member of Radnor Golf Club in Cornwall, new buccaneer. Yeah. And uh, he'll be seeing quite a lot on the channel for the short courses. We're just having a bit of fun on. Yeah. Um, Specialist okay. is a vague, vague phrase. Yeah, but vague, yeah, but it's always going to be fun. Today it's a vague phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much to Penrith Pitch and Putt for allowing us to come on the course an hour early before anybody else. And as I said, now it's starting to fill up and people are starting to come on the course. We're still doing okay. Off to the third video, see what happens next. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please subscribe, please hit the notification bell, tell your friends. Because you know, sometimes we're playing Pitch and Putt, sometimes we're playing the Belfry and yeah. everything else in between. Comment below. I know this is what YouTube yeah, do. Comment below if you play pitch and putt. If so, do you agree with me? 
They're great for practice. They're great for fun. Don't be a golf snob. You know. Enjoy it. Just yeah. enjoy the game. Yeah. Give us some feedback. What do you think of them? Yeah. How'd you get on the pitch and putt? Did you start them yourself? Did you, do you still play them now? Entry level golf. Grassroots golf. See you all soon, everybody. Bye for now.